We begin tonight with the Romeo community rallying around fallen Oakland County Deputy Brad Reckling. Thank you so much for joining us for 7 News Detroit at 6. I'm Mike Duffy. Reckling was shot and killed in Detroit on Saturday. He leaves behind a wife and three kids. Police arrested three men in connection to his death, but the clock is ticking to charge them. If they are not arraigned within 72 hours of their arrest, police will have to release them. And that time will expire later tonight. 7 News Detroit's Faraz Javid takes a look at the life of Deputy Reckling and how his friends and hometown are honoring his memory. For Zach Williams, running Dalco Services, a landscaping company, is a breeze. But this week, the 30-year-old is struggling with something as simple as writing a letter. A work in progress, a speech for his high school friend's candlelight vigil. Brad, a selfless individual that was a father, a brother, a husband, and most of all, a protector of all of us. It's for slain Oakland County Deputy Bradley Reckling, who was shot and killed late Saturday night on Detroit's east side while working undercover. Which aspect of writing the speech is hard for you right now? It's hard to put into words the feeling that I carry. Zach and Brad met at Romeo High School in 2009. Zach says they instantly became friends because they shared common interests, including playing football, weightlifting, and working in construction. He was strong, his shoulders were back, he'd have a grin from ear to ear, he'd ask how you were doing, what he could do to help. How was he as a football player? He was a good football player. He could hit very hard, uh, he would play outside linebacker. He had a heart of a lion. With nine years of law enforcement experience, Deputy Reckling was assigned to the Oakland County Sheriff's Auto Theft Unit. Saturday night, the 30-year-old was following a stolen vehicle in the area of Park Grove and Shaner when one of the suspects got out and opened fire, hitting Reckling multiple times. What was the first thing that came to your mind about him? A beautiful, strong soul that has gone way too early. Now the community, especially Reckling's hometown, the village of Romeo, is coming together. Reckling's high school classmates, Bailey Farrell and Brooke Bocci, are organizing a candlelight vigil tomorrow for the fallen hero who is survived by a pregnant wife and three kids. When he walked into the room, he was the highlight. He was goofy, he was funny, he would make everybody laugh. Yeah, and we're going to have um, some speakers, including some of his high school coaches, as well as um, bagpipes and just some beautiful stories. Now the candlelight vigil will be held tomorrow at 9 p.m. right behind me at Romeo High School's football stadium. A table will also be set up to collect donations for Reckling's family. You can also donate online. Just head to WXYZ.com for all the details. In Romeo, I'm Faraz Javid, 7 News Detroit. Thank you, Faraz. And stay with 7 News Detroit as we continue to follow this heartbreaking case every step of the way.